Let's get started with this DIY kimono top. I'm Carmetta and today I'm going to show you how I made this really simple kimono top. I dig about one afternoon and the help of my narrow hem foot. Let's begin with creating the pattern. Mine is 32 inches wide by 40 inches long. I used my wrapping paper with grid lines to draw nice straight lines and then I kind of realized it didn't need to be that big because I'm folding the biggest piece on the center fold. So here I'm just marking the half and I'm going to fold it in half and use that for my cutting pieces so you don't need to actually make it as, as big as I did. But you know, it helps you see how much fabric you have and if you have enough, so that's helpful. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the back piece. I just showed you with my finger where this center is and I am cutting this on the fold so it will be as big as that original pattern piece I showed you in the last clip. And now I'm cutting the front pieces. So the front is basically just two halves of the back piece. I'm using my rotary cutter. It's from Ulfa. You can get it at Joanne. I'm being very careful holding the fabric nice and tight as I cut it and trying not to cut towards my fingers so the angry people on YouTube don't let me know that I'm going to cut my finger off. <laughs> so that's the front piece or the front pieces and I'm lining the front pieces on top of the back pieces with the right sides together and I'm going to pin them and I'm going to sew what will become the shoulder seams. So I'm pinning them as close as I can while well, I'm clipping them so that they will stay nice and stable and I'm opening up so that's going to be the front opening. So sewing from the center out on each side, I'm going to throw it on my trusty brother sewing machine. I'm just doing a straight stitch with a 5 8 seam allowance and I will go in later and finish my seams. So this is what it looks like right now. I've sewn out from that direction and now I'm thinking, you know what, probably need to do a little keyhole here to make it fit more smoothly around my neck. So I'm just cutting it in a curve. I really struggled to film this while I was doing it. It's hard to make sure it's on camera when you're doing it with your eyeballs at the same time. So this is a better view of that. So that's a little keyhole I made. And what I'm gonna do for that seam is I'm gonna start at the bottom side, the side center piece, go up and around that keyhole I just cut and all the way back down using my trusty narrow hem foot. So this foot right here, is magic. It basically flips your fabric twice for you and up on itself so you don't have to iron it and it creates beautiful narrow hems. Super easy, super fast. They look really professional like you spent a ton of time on it but it just does it for you. Look at that. Beautiful! I just, I'm obsessed with that foot. You guys need to get one. So this is what it looks like now that I've gone from the bottom of the center all the way up around the neckline and back down. I loved it so much I decided to do it all the way along the sides of my kimono so that when I sew the side seams under the sleeves, everything's already finished. To do the rolled foot here though, make sure you cut your um, unfinished seam so that it will fit through the narrow hem foot. So now I've done that, I've sewn the narrow hem all the way down the side and I'm just gonna sew from about 10 inches below the top of the shoulder seam. So there's the center, it's kinda hard to tell where we're at because of the busyness of the pattern, but I'm gonna sew from about 10 inches below that sleeve down to the bottom on each side and because I did that narrow hem I don't have to finish any I don't have to like hem any sleeves or finish any raw edges all that's left for this whole kimono is to do that bottom hem I ended up serging the bottom hem and then doing a double turn um, a double fold hem I think is what it's called and it looked really nice and professional but it was kind of weighty so I think I would actually recommend doing the narrow hem foot so this is the finished piece again Beautiful narrow hem right here around the neck and on the sleeves. The drapiness of this fabric was just perfect for the kimono. This fabric is from Joanne. And I think it's like a, a poly crepe. It's in their like silky print section. And now you guys, here is the live action shot of the kimono outside. Very nice, super comfortable. You can't mess it up. Tell me if you like it and subscribe and follow along. Thank you guys.